So for most people, when you mention artificial intelligence or AI, oftentimes robots really come to mind first. Now this series is high growth AI stocks, and we've covered several good ones. Most of them have really been focused around the artificial intelligence machine learning part of the universe. And as I've mentioned in this series, guys, artificial intelligence is a very vast universe. If you're new to the series, there's an entire series of videos, go check out the playlist on the channel. But a lot of people do think of robots. They think of Skynet or Terminator, or Schwarzenegger when they think of AI. And I did want to cover another another stock that was really healthcare related. And so when you think about it, right, if we just sat down and had a conversation, say we're having a beer together and we say, hey, what kind of stocks did you invest in for the next five, 10, 15 years that seem obvious? They seem like no brainers. And sometimes with investing guys, it really takes that conversation to get the ball rolling. And then you got to do due diligence. And of course, do a ton of research to make sure the companies are a good fit. When you think of like robotic surgery, it makes a lot of sense. It's not there to replace a doctor necessarily. It's there to basically help the doctor be more effective, more efficient, make better decisions and be more precise. So when you think of intuitive surgical, I always ask myself, I've owned this stock for, for several years and I always ask myself, why don't more people own the stock? I think for a few reasons. I think first of all, it's an expensive stock. It trades at over a thousand dollars a share. And there's some other reasons I'll get to later on the video. So definitely stay tuned and watch this whole video. But here's the good news. The good news is that they announced a stock split coming up here soon. On their last earnings, they announced a three to one stock split effective October 5th, which is not very far away. That means that thousand dollar stock is gonna turn into $333.33 or whatever that number is, right? It's gonna get cut into a third. Now, a $330 stock is still expensive, but it's definitely a lot less expensive than a thousand dollars. And of course, you can leverage companies like this with fractional shares. If you don't have a broker that has fractional shares, I highly encourage encourage you to look into a broker that can do that for you. But there's one key thing that's missed into this puzzle that a lot of people don't even understand. In fact, I've talked to investors of Intuitive Surgical that don't even understand their revenue model. And that is very critical. I'm going to explain it in this video. You're going to want to see it. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning back in guys. Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth. Let's break down intuitive surgicals. Here's the thing about it before we even get started. I look at this as really a recovery type play and you'll see on these slides I'm gonna show you, they actually had a retraction in 2020, which makes sense. A lot of surgeries were put on hold because of the COVID pandemic. And so when you see this, okay, this is 2020 numbers. Now this is a recent presentation from a healthcare conference. They had 1.2 million plus procedures in 2020. You might be surprised to hear that number. It's quite large. They had nine 936 new machines. So they call it the Vinci system. So that's their robotic. You'll see what it looks like here in a second. I'm going to show some videos in the background, but it's called Da Vinci system. That's their primary system. They sell 3000 plus peer reviewed articles published in 2020. So this is getting a lot of attention, especially in the medical industry, 8.5 million procedures performed to date. I mean, they've been around for quite a long time. Those procedures are starting to accelerate. What's really interesting is the revenue model. And I'll get to more of that later. But I think a lot of people assume that this is just, they sell these robotic machines and then that's it one and done that's not the case so you're going to want to stay tuned here so 5989 systems in clinical use for da vinci and 24000 plus peer reviewed articles published to date so when you look at this slide the first thing you'll notice is that 2020 they had a 1% growth you can see it kind of contracted okay but you can see the trajectory from 2015 2016 you can see you know it's stepping up going higher and higher it basically was slightly flat it only had 1% growth last year now they've already reported a couple earnings here in 2021 and they're doing really well and I think that'll accelerate towards the end of 2021 and extend into 2022. This is really big here guys. System placements you can see it actually had a contraction from 2019 to 2020 and you can see the install base actually was up seven percent and you can also see rest of the world, Asia, Europe, and the United States and it's probably hard to see because it's all blue but that darkest the longest kind of candle there is the United States. The second longest is Europe. The third is, is Asia. Now one thing I'll note is they've had a lot of strength in China, which is a positive, but also could be potentially a negative. But you can see it's not a tremendous part of their business. It is where they're seeing some of their growth though. So their total revenue actually contracted 3%. But here's the thing, 77% recurring revenue. Now, if you fall fired up wealth, you're like, you know what recurring revenue is all about because we talk about SaaS, software as a service. And you're thinking, wait a minute, they sell these expensive robotic surgery machines. How can they have 77% of their revenue recurring? Stay tuned. 
All right, guys, this is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna play a video here in a second. You can see on your screen, that's actually a Da Vinci system that Intuitive Surgical sells. And you would think at first, so these cost anywhere from a million to $3 million, depending on who's buying them. And you would think that that's where most of the revenue probably comes from, is actually selling the robotics machines, right? But that's actually not the case at all. Intuitive Surgical gets the majority of their revenue from recurring revenue streams. Listen to this. Intuitive Surgical basically has a high-tech razor and blades business model. It makes money on the Da Vinci system, but the really big bucks are making money from selling the equipment that the Da Vinci system uses as well as the services behind it. So the actual plug, they can sell a ton of money to get this expensive device into the hospital, but then the hospital has to pay a ton of money to actually be able to use it. For example, it uses blades. Now those blades are cleaned after operations, but they wear out over time. Those blades have to be bought from Intuitive Surgical and they're quite expensive. In addition to that, listen to this guys, in addition to that, they also have annual contracts, service contracts. When they sell these, it can range anywhere from a hundred to a couple hundred thousand dollars annually just to have the system operational in your hospital. Then on top of that, they use AI to help improve procedures and they sell that data back to the hospital so that they can be more effective and more efficient. And they're looking at doing new ways or thinking of new ways to actually implement new systems and procedures as well. So there's a lot of opportunity with this stock and with this company. And when you dig into the hood and realize a lot of the, the revenue is actually recurring revenue, that is a game changer and it's really important to understand as a potential investor. So to give you guys an idea of, of some of the procedures they do, so like when you think of gynecology and hysterectomies, that's a big thing, T types of cancer basically, especially benign types of cancer, um, urinary procedures, kidney procedures, there's lots of procedures and they're constantly coming up with new procedures, but they have to essentially program this robot and you probably saw on your screen, you know, the doctor can actually use the arms to control it, but the robot is actually using a combination of the doctor's assistance as well as AI and then precision. So the robot knows exactly where, where to go, has it mapped out. It's really complex stuff, it's really cool stuff, and I think it's the future of healthcare. I think this is gonna continue to grow. Is Intuitive Surgical the Tesla of healthcare? Of course, I've used that before. Is John Deere the Tesla of agriculture? I actually thought of this last night and then I Googled it to see if anybody else had already used the title and Steve did, but it's part of Motley Fool. I'm gonna give Steve props here and I'm gonna borrow it from the YouTube video. So I wanna talk about this really fast. So Intuitive Surgical's initial investment in Kella Health. It's an AI company focused on precision surgery. Studies have shown that AI models enable reductions in the cost of complications by certain surgeries by 40 to 50%. That's pretty big deal right there. So Intuitive's AI investment seems smart on several fronts, and I agree. First, it helps advance the best thinking and minimally invasive care. I had to shoot that like five times. I could, <laughs> I could not say that out loud or whatever. I haven't had enough bang, I guess. But so it strengthens Intuitive's core value proposition. Second, it expands their value proposition by fostering improvements in the end-to-end -end surgical process from pre-surgery planning through surgery follow-up. Finally, it enables Intuitive to drive down the cost of surgery for its customers without reducing its own revenue or margins. He absolutely nailed it with this and I wanted to share it and just read it to you word for word. This is really what Intuitive is all about and this is how they're leveraging AI to, to not only make their business better, but also make it less expensive for people having these surgeries. This is on their website, guys. This is really cool. I thought I'd just show you really quick. So advancing what's possible and minimally invasive care. Can't say that for whatever reason. So I thought I would just do it again so you could get a nice laugh. <laughs> but you can kind of see the, the robotic surgery, the Da Vinci system in action here. So I thought I'd show you this. It's pretty cool stuff. I get pretty excited when I see stuff like this, especially as an investor, I'm up. I think I'm up like 300% on this stock and I think it's gonna keep continuing doing well. Another thing I wanna point out here, we've built a comprehensive learning environment. So Intuitive Education 2020, they had 12,000 registered users. They had 34,000 surgeon hours. They call it Vinci Sim Now. So it actually allows the, the surgeons to practice by using this simulator, which I think is really, really cool stuff. And this also integrates AI and has an analytics model. So AI is really baked in their business in several areas. And that's why I wanted to include this on the AI high growth series. So it's important to note guys that they are part of the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500. So you probably own a little bit of this company without even knowing it if you have some index funds. And you can see they're an American corporation develops and manufactures and markets robotic products designed to improve clinical outcomes. So Intuitive Surgical, the stock's trading right now. This is pre-market here. It's trading just over $1,000 a share. P ratio in here is 76.84. So you could say it's a little bit expensive, but when you look at the growth here, it doesn't seem that bad, honestly, compared to a lot of the other stuff in the market. The market 
market cap is $122 billion. And as a reminder, guys, they're gonna do a stock split three to one on October 5th. So that $1,000 share price is gonna get split into a third, okay? So that's gonna help make it a little bit more affordable to buy it. I've said this before about stock splits. If you have a pizza and you cut it into eight slices, it's still one pizza but it does make it easier for retail investors to buy shares. And that whole psychological game of buying one share versus a fractional share, it does make a difference. So that's kind of why stocks tend to, to, to balance or perform or, or, or sometimes even rally off of these stock splits. So keep it in mind, that could happen. Now the stock's already run hard, but I'm looking at this as a long-term investment, not necessarily a trade, but an investment where I'm gonna hold it for several years. Now, if you look at this, the year-over-year -year revenue change, of course, we had the pandemic. Now, most of the stocks that we look at, say they're a cloud stock, they had really great numbers during the pandemic, and then they have hard comps. I always talk about hard comps. These guys have simpler comps because they didn't have as many surgeries during the pandemic. You can see it's starting to accelerate though, 71 percent revenue year of year uh, change and a 1.46 billion dollars in revenue and they had a 35.33 percent net profit margin now this isn't a, Sa a SaaS type company it has a recurring model but it's not software as a service recurring model we explained it earlier but when you did say you did a rule of 40 which you usually don't do outside of you know SaaS type companies but just for fun if you add 71 plus you know 35 you're well over a hundred which is a really good number so I think you're going to see this continue to to do well especially as the pandemic goes away and more people get these surgeries. And I think you'll probably see the stock outperform over the next you know, 12 to 18 months. All right, guys, there you have it. Intuitive Surgical, part of the high growth AI series. Now I'm gonna do another video. I'm gonna do another video and release it this weekend, a surprise kind of bonus video that's part of this series. So check it out on Saturday morning. I'm gonna release another stock in this series. This is the channel on your screen. We're just approaching 20,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the wonderful support from the community. If you like this video, hit the like button, drop a comment. If you're new, definitely subscribe to the channel. Check out the playlist. There's tons of great playlists. I'll actually scroll through and show you a couple of them. So the first one you're going to see is the Motley Fool Disruptive Technology playlist. You can play all right there. There's the Eric's Top 25 High Conviction Stock Picks. There's the Top Cloud Stocks playlist. There's a Top 10 uh, International E-Commerce Growth Stocks. Semiconductors, the New Oil, whole playlist. Top Mid-Cap Growth Stocks to buy. Growth Investing. This is my favorite videos. There's a bunch of them in here. Fired Up Wealth. This is more about the financial independence and personal finance part of Fired Up Wealth, Dividend Growth Investing Playlist. There's a shorts playlist for videos that are a minute or less, popular uploads, and so on. So I think a lot of times people forget to go to the homepage and actually see what else is out there. There's a lot of great content that's been recorded over the last couple of years. We've been doing this since 2019. So I encourage you to check out those playlists. Again, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notifications, hit the like button, drop me a comment. Appreciate your time and attention. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.